you are the one living and writing your story. There is no one else. You are the only person who is responsible for all the pain and pleasure in your life. You are the only one who has the power to create or destroy everything around you. And the sooner we all remember it, realize it, the faster we can restore peace in our society. Each human being comes with an incredible gift and a big journey for many people lately have been the question what this gift is about. What is my gift? Why am I here? Who am I? Those were the questions that human beings have been contemplating and pondering upon for centuries and centuries. And at the same time, it feels that in the last three years, with everything that has been going on in the world, more and more people, as they say, waking up, more and more people asking this question. More and more people in their 20s and 30s quitting their jobs in big companies because they feel that they are not being fulfilled. Or graduates after the university don't want to join big companies at all because they feel it's not aligned with their own inner vision for the future for themselves, for the society, for the planet. I have recently interviewed one of the guests on Timeless Teachings, Milena Nguyen. You probably have listened to her interview already. And I love how she shared her story. And one of the messages that she said was about the reason why she decided to leave corporate world and focus on a transformational human development soul-centered business and she just said one day she realized that she was so empty inside and yes maybe the mission of the company was meaningful but it was not meaningful for her. She wanted to do something else. And that was the decision point. And by no means I am not promoting quitting your job or not ever working for the big company or not being in a corporate structure. I mean, society definitely still needs lawyers, bankers, doctors, engineers, and all kind of other professions that helped us to get where we are right now collectively. And at the same time, it is important to know for you what do you want? What would you like your life to be about? How would you like your story to be told by others when you are no longer here? And it brings us back to that inner wisdom that some people call intuition, some people say it is heart that is talking to you, others refer to it as soul messages or any other words that would resonate with you. 
what is important is to keep reminding yourself every day that you are the one who is living and writing your story. There is no one else but you. And everything that has been happening in your life is happening because you allow it to happen consciously or unconsciously or subconsciously, whatever way we look at it. It is all up to you. And when we realize that, that we are literally creating our reality, our daily reality, day after day after day, it is also then in our power and absolutely in our capacity to make changes. If there is something that you don't like in your life, you can change it. If there is something you would like to have in your life but you don't, you can have it. Usually what holds people back from truly living the lives of their dreams is fear. Fear to disappoint others, fear to disappoint themselves, fear that they might fail, fear that they might succeed. Fear is the most common energy that holds back human beings from realizing full potential. And yet, you are not fear. You are you. And you can choose to be anything you want to be. And create anything you want to create. That's how society has been progressing over generations that people who were just brave enough to think out of the box, to do things differently, to ask questions, to embark on journeys, not always knowing what is the destination. Those were always the people that have been driving society to the higher evolution. And at the same time, it is also beautiful to have a simple, quiet life. If this is what you feel you are truly about. Only you know what is right for you. And what important is to have enough courage to look into the depths of your own soul. To see who are you? Why are you here? And what is your biggest gift to the world? And I would like to read now a few words by a beautiful talented writer. Her name is Nikki Banas. And her tag on social media, Walk the Earth Writer. And just listen to that. You are the one living and writing your story. You are the one experiencing all of your joys and pains. My beautiful friend, you are the one who earns your triumph and victories. You are the one who has to give it everything you have to climb your mountains. And you are the one who has to face your losses and defeats too. You are the one who has to come face to face and be honest with yourself when you make a mistake. You are the one who has to learn how to heal and find inner peace after going through the dark. Others can encourage you and help you heal 
They can help you grow and expand. They can help you navigate through your challenges and overcome your defeats. They can help you triumph and win your victories. But ultimately, you are the one guiding your life's direction. You are the one in charge of what you do with your one extraordinary life. My beautiful friend, you get to decide and create and walk and live your incredibly unique path. And with these words, let's take a deep breath. And just spend a few minutes with yourself diving into your own inner wisdom. Thank you for being here for yourself.